So hello everyone, in this video in, I'm going to discuss t-table and this will be the part 3 of our discussion in t-distribution or students t. Now uh, on the leftmost portion we have the degrees of freedom from 1 to 24 and on the uppermost portion we have t's with subscripts and these subscripts represent the area to the left of these points. And on the second row, it represents the area to the right of those points. Now, for example, we have your T sub point 99. It means the area to the left of this point is 99% or point 0.99. And the area to the right of this point is point 0.01. And if we're going to take a look at this, the area to the left of this point is point 0.90 or 90% to the left and to the right is 10%. So the lowermost portion of this t-table shows the confidence level. Yet we are not going to use this because it is not part of our discussion in students t distribution. This confidence level will be tackled on the next topic which is estimation of parameters and we are going to use this to find the t value whenever it is two-tailed, okay? So we have your identifying percentiles using the t-table. Percentile is a value on t-distribution that is less than the probability in the given percentage. For example, the 90th percentile of the t-distribution is the t-value whose left tail probability is 90% and whose right tail probability is 10%. Since the area under the t-distribution curve also represents the probability, the 90th percentile of the t-distribution is the t-value whose area on its tail is 0.90 or on its left tail and on its right tail is 0.10. To illustrate further, the 90th percentile meaning if we are asked for the 90th percentile it means on this point 90% of the area is located to the left or at the left and 10% of the area is located at the right of this point or t value. To give you the first example for this uh, video, find the 95th percentile of a T distribution with 6 as its degrees of freedom. Now, let us use what we have learned a while ago. We have here the 95th percentile. Again, the subscript indicates the percentile. So let us draw two lines to focus on. Let us focus on this column. And now let us locate degrees of freedom, which is 6. Meaning to say that 95% uh, of the area is located at 1.943 with degrees or with t value equal to 1.943 with degrees of freedom which is 6. That is how we use the t table. Second example. So for our second example, we have we have here find the values of t for which the area on the right tail of the t distribution is 0 0.01 and the sample size is 15. Now since the area to the right is 0 0.01, it goes to show that we are looking for the 99th percentile. Also, we can deduce that uh, since the sample size is 15, the degrees of freedom is 14 because the degrees of freedom is the sample size minus 1. Now we have here the t table. Okay. Now, I 
located 0 0.01 because it tells us that to the right is 0 0.01. So we have this column and it is the 99th percentile. And let us look for degrees of freedom, which is 14. So this one, 2.624. So that is what we are looking for. And for the last example, identify the area to the right of 1.746 under a T distribution with 16 degrees of freedom. Now, so what we know about here is the degrees of freedom or R, the degrees of freedom in the T value. And I guess it is easier for us to locate first the degrees of freedom, which is 16. And it is located here. Now, let us find from that point, let us find or from that row, let us find 1.746. And we can see it here. So the area to the right of this T value 1.746 with degrees of freedom 16 is 0 0.05 and that will be the answer for our third example. So if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and click the like button so you will be updated to the next videos that I will be posting.